What's going on, buddy? My name's Chris. Ooh, oh my god. Oh, Spongebob, stop. You're scaring me. You're scaring me. <laughs> stop. Okay, he's gone for way too long. Wow, look at the way that sludge moves. I didn't even know this was like animated before. I don't think most of it is. This isn't. <clears throat> Anyways, welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Spongebob Squarepants The Cosmic Shake. I'm kind of failing to realize why it's called that. But, um, like, I guess these are cosmic jellies. Uh, anyways, last episode. Oh. Oh. Oh, never mind. Like, is there a secret up there? But no, that's just where we came from, right? Yes, last episode, we got all the candy bars that Mrs. Fluff required. And now let's give it to her and let's go down a cool slide. Why? Oh, she's dressed. What is you dressed up as? Weird marshmallow lady? Hm. You again. Did you bring the participation fee candy? Red nuts. Fancy. Yeah. Now keep still. This is going to hurt. Huh? Wait, what? It's a snail race. You have to be a snail and fast. Go! <laughs> what the hell? Wait. No way. So. Oh, God. So, crazily enough. Oh, it's automatically moving. Eh. How the. I randomly decided to watch some Spongebob yesterday, and it clicked on two random episodes. And this was one of them, the one where Squidward uh, actually stabs Spongebob with a snail juice and he becomes um, Mr. Krabs. What the f- this is so weird. Do I got- uh oh. I don't really even understand my controls. Do I have any controls? What? I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, what was the other one I watched? I don't remember. Um, but Spongebob's- you know what, I'm- It's really- <laughs> Watching I haven't really watched Spongebob much since I was a kid, so I was like, you know, I decided to re Dude, I don't know what the heck to do. This feels incredibly broken. And I can't even go back up. Can I? I'm a snail. Isn't the whole thing about snails is they're sticky and they can climb walls and stuff? Um, what am I doing wrong? What if I just literally kill myself? Okay. Oh, very good. Cool. I like the part where I was floating. Um. Yeah, but this is one of the episodes I watched. Out of everything, I clicked two, like, completely random episodes. I don't understand how this works. Oh. Whoa, that's interesting. So whenever you, like, I gotta time the A button presses. Oh, okay. I understand. Okay, another instance of where maybe the tutorials on would have been helpful, but it's also kind of more fun to try and learn myself, you know? Okay. I gotta time- like, I gotta like, right when he's like, as squished up as he can, that's when you press the A button. Alright, that's very fun. I understand. Get away from me, you freaks. Where are, they, where are these snails from? Because I know they're from the show, obviously. But I don't know, like, <coughs> what context do these snails exist? Are we gonna race anything anytime soon? These guys are kind of doing the opposite of racing. Oh, this is cool. Okay, I actually kind of like this. This is very clever. I, I don't think I've ever played a game that had nothing like this. Oh, it's already the finish line. I actually really enjoyed that. It's kind of maybe a little simple, a little short, a little easy, but... Once you know how to do it. Oh, you survived. Uh, I mean, you won the race. Well, no, actually, I killed myself when I got stuck and didn't know what to do. <coughs> but after that, yeah, I did survive. <coughs> Man, I know I have a cough all of a sudden. Am I dying? <gasps> oh, this has a face. Whoa, what's even more horrifying is what happens to the camera when you walk into this door. <laughs> I feel like this game wasn't beta tested very well. Ooh, another new enemy. Oh god, it's Meatwad! It's two Meatwads! And they bugs? Okay. okay. 
Alright, Meatwad. Um, almost. So it's a normal enemy? <laughs> that felt pretty much as simple as any other enemy, but alright. Uh, I guess we go this way? Can we go back up here? Yeah, okay. I don't know why that felt like an insum insum insummitable mountain? Unsummitable mountain? Rumblegar? Wow, these houses all kind of break, SpongeBob. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, good. Make sure I wasn't missing anything. Um. Wait, is this where I'm supposed to go? Or is this a secret? No, we probably have to go that way, right? Ah, oh, one of these again. I wish there was a way to mark these, because, like. What's kind of annoying, right, is like, I'm doing all this exploring now and finding all these secrets, but I can't access them. And when I explore these worlds a second time, I'm gonna feel a lot less enthused to, like, do a big exploration again, right? Can we go back up here? Oh, I'm sorry. So it's like, it's gonna be kind of annoying to have to re-explore everything again, because it's like, I've already explored this, but I don't remember where everything is, so therefore it's gonna be kind of... It's gonna be a little annoying to do that, but... I mean, we'll see how it goes, that's, you know, it's... We'll cross that bridge when we get there. Maybe it will be a lot of fun. Is there? Ooh! There's a leg spike over there, Scoob! Did it... Did Patrick... What the... What? Where... First of all, where's Patrick? Second of all, is that who just collected the candy bar? Did Patrick just abandon me? You're glowing! Who said that? How do you know my name? It's uh -oh. me, Patrick. He's been enchanted. I thought I was Patrick. No, I'm SpongeBob. You're Patrick. No, I'm Ghost Bob. Ghost Bob. Ghost Bob. Oh. Hmm. Maybe we should turn on some lights and make sure. Turn on the lights. A oh, golden spatula. Can I make that jump from here? I wonder. No, I definitely cannot. Cannot not. So I'm not gonna bother trying, because why try when you know you're gonna fail? You know, we should just only take the easy choices in life. Don't bother trying anything. Why would you do that? Why would you risk failure, okay? Alright, let's, let's get over here. Um, okay. Oh, meat wads. What the? What is this blue stuff? What am I looking at? Um, okay, what is, what is my goal with these guys again? The, uh, tartar guys? Oh, tartar sauce! Level 100 enemies, Jesus, we barely made a dent into that. Find a secret in every level, I don't know if I, f I don't even know, does it tell me when I find a secret? Bubble tartar jellies that are currently engaged in an attack. Engaged in an attack, as in they're attacking? Oh boy, cool, very nice. Oh, I can't appear to attack that guy. Um, you know, it actually won't be- Oh shit, that guy was on my brain! Wait, is that what you do? I was actually pretty easy to get overwhelmed by these guys, surprisingly. So I think I need to bubble him while he's doing that. Oh, no. Wait. Bubble the trouble? Wait, what? Huh? What did I just get? I mean, bubble the trouble, but what does that mean? <clears throat> I wish it just brought me to it. I'm, I, it's already been long enough that I forget what it looked look like. I came the Dutchman ship within five minutes. Oh, interesting. Um, oh, here it is. Level 10 targets are... Oh, okay. Well, that's the one... Where, oh, I thought I, I thought I hadn't done any of those yet or something. Okay, so those guys attach my brain. Interesting. <sighs> well, at least there's a checkpoint right. Oh, a checkpoint me right here. Oh god, I've had this issue lately where my eyeball, like whenever I blink too hard or anything, my eye starts twitching. It's uh not good. Okay, let's. Well, okay. Whoa, 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 whoa! What? Do they just box me? Like, what? What are you? What are you up to, man? Huh? Are you dead? No, you must be attacked once more. Oh, 
Oh, I can't wait to finish jelly or bubbling a hundred enemies and never have to worry about it again. Cool, I hit the bowl button and another cap hit. Uh, we still need one more doubloon to unlock the next costume. I guess until then we'll keep the uh, ghost costume on. Cause I, I mean, kind of like it for one and two. It's very fitting for this level. And three, I'm probably never gonna wear it again after this level. Patrick. He said the thing. He said the thing. Oh my goodness gracious! Right. Huh? Wait, did I die? What just happened? Oh my goodness gracious! How about I just don't fight these guys? Oh, about time. You know what? How about how about instead of that, I actually do fight them, but I just destroy everything because I'm good at this game. Okay, I did no damage. Okay. You get a combo and something you can't. SpongeBob talking about his ass. SpongeBob talking about his ass. What are these blue things? Huh? Okay. <coughs> <laughs> oh my god, I can't even look away from the mic. If I looked away, I would have ruined everything. You know, commentating while I have a giant cough is kind of unfortunate. Oh, wait, what? Uh, oh, they're light switches. Okay, alright, that's kind of nice. You know, this is kind of technically even worse. Uh, <gasps> the, the hash slinging. The mash clinking, the blash blingling, the hash slinging slasher! You know, these are technically worse than the little, um, like, indicators that tell you exactly where to go, but I, oddly enough, kind of like it. I don't know why. Um, yeah. There we go. <laughs> you know, these lights aren't very bright, but okay, I'll take it. They're definitely, this def area definitely feels like big enough that could have a lot of crap here. Why are these wires so, like, glowy? Hello, it's me, Meat Rod! I've never watched that show. So did you just have a giant tongue? Basically? So, well, the next time we say yoink, I'm going to kill Patrick. I'm going to pop him with a, a needle I keep in my trunks. Um, I've, I've had enough, SpongeBob. I've had enough. You need to stop, okay? You've said it a thousand times, and every single time I hear you say it, it drives me slightly more crazy. It drives me a little bit more insane. And I don't think you want to see me. That's why I turn fully insane. Three out of our lights. 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 Okay, we can't use that button, but we will use this as a vantage spot. There's a trampoline over there. There's a hook over there, and there's a thing up there. Um, I wonder if we could use... That hook to read a book. And reading the book will grant me a look of prestige. Um, was I not already up here? Yeah, I was literally already up here. Uh, okay, it just automatically cut me off, I guess. Oh, <laughs> that's kind of a little sad. Um, what was I saying? Uh, oh yeah, I hit the wall and it automatically like, plunged me down. Um, cool, right? I know, fantastic story. Well, let's hit this button. Go, 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 go. Golden spatula. I forgot that. I was looking for that. So that means the entrance... Oh, was I looking at the entrance where I was like trying to use the hook to get to? Um, how does one get over there? I feel like those jellies floating in the sky are a bit of a hint. Hmm. 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 Can we, like, get access to that pipe anywhere? If I keep jumping on this, will I never fall? I just kind of assumed that's how that would work, but I truly had no idea, and I'm kind of glad that is indeed how it works. Okay, if I can maybe get on top. Wait, wasn't I on this roof? Oh, man. Okay, what does this do? Oh. I'll put together the, the the machine. Ah! Sandy! Sandy! I mean, <clears throat> Sandy. 
The name's Candy. Oh, and nice. The C is hard as the toffee and grandma's candy dish. Cool. Thank you for bringing the power back. We're looking You're welcome, for Candy. Snail Gary. He got lost. Probably kidnapped by a monster. Have you seen him? Haven't seen your pet around, I'm afraid. But that monster, they say its lair is in the museum. Oop. It's dangerous, but it might be your best chance of finding your little critter. Sounds reasonable. We should ask this monster if it's seen Gary. I've always liked the way how Sandy says critter. Critter? Patrick, I don't think monsters can talk. You know what? My little monster theater has been reset. You mind giving me a hand with putting it back in order? No. If you do, I'll open the way to the museum for you. So you can go look for that monster and your friend. I don't like it, but if there's a chance Gary is with this monster, we have no other choice. Oh, poor Gary. Let's get this theater fixed. I could do that. <gasps> Horrifying. This should be pretty simple, I think. Uh huh. Uh, what is this? It has some movie sp spoils. Oh, it tells me I'm in the right spot. Oh, come on. Well, a little unnecessary now. Wait. Oh, did, does it want everything in the middle of the screen? Huh? Oh, I can move stuff up and down. So I probably want to do that then, right? I'm guessing this is all like this for a reason. There we go. Alright. Alright, I'm kind of a genius. Now take your floating buddy out of here before there's a I don't know if you guys see that. I'm I'm extremely smart, intelligent. And a genius at solving puzzles. Um, now what's how how do we get on a roof? Uh stay on a rooftop. Okay, let's do No, that's the way we came from. And this is not the way to get up there. But what if it was? Wait, can I reach a hook from there? Was the answer right in front of me this entire time? Why is it let me shoot another bubble? Oh, there's a, there's a dude down there. Look at that. Where'd you come from, little guy? Where'd you come from, little guy? I look like I'm a little boy. And then I realized that sounds a little strange and I backed out of it immediately. But I decided to say... Ah, oh, was this here before? What do these do? A problem this game kind of has is a lot of the things I click kind of feel a little aimless. Like, you know, we'll click the socks of battle for Bikini Bottom to achieve greatness. Um, but in this game, it's like, why did I just collect the spatula? Why did I click the page? Do I get anything out of it? No, just number... number go up? Um... Another issue I'm about to have is I don't know where I'm supposed to go next. Uh... oh. <laughs> uh, Sandy? I want to give a little old sponge a hand here. Is it here? I feel like it's over there, but... I also feel like there's no easy way to get over there. Is it this way? No, it's not. I'm gonna say, it feels like this should... If it is this way, it, feel, it feels like there should be an easier way to get there, but... Uh, okay, let's go back over here. Here! I found the toxic sludge! No. Well, so far so good. You know, one of the one of the common well, I said one of the common it's hippo. Hey, good old hippo. He said, he said his, one of his personal fears of the game was that the game was very front load heavy. But so far, like I said, like each of these levels take around five episodes to complete each, and that's pretty good. And that's not even completing them. You know, that's me. Um, just going through them the first time. They're nowhere near complete, although... Oh, I was right here. Uh, Gary must be terrified, poor thing. Right here is where I'm supposed to go. Okay. Maybe the monster got a whole bunch of sales. More sweet babies in danger? Oh, say it isn't so. Or maybe the monster is Gary. Wait, it, may, it would be a bigger twist if the monster wasn't Gary, to be honest. But it's gotta be Gary, right? But like... Oh my god! 
Well, then again, I guess we did fight Sandy in the first one. But she wasn't evil. She was just, we were just put on a show together. Uh, anyways, thanks a lot for watching, everyone. I greatly appreciate you checking this out. I will be back tomorrow with some more SpongeBob SquarePants, the Cosmic Shake. See you tomorrow.